Good morning, 7.40 in the morning. Welcome to the vlog. Today is Sunday, January 15th, 2012. I'm headed to pick up my dad and we're going to the North American International Auto Show in Detroit, Michigan. Welcome. We've got ourselves just a lovely morning here. It is seven degrees Fahrenheit outside, which is negative some number in Celsius, but uh, we didn't get any fresh snow overnight, which is good, but negative seven feels really cold. This is the coldest temperature I've felt, I don't know, since last January, February, or something like that. But uh, yeah, today should be a great day. We're just taking the turnpike west to Toledo and then up into Detroit. Um, we'll be leaving his place about 8 o'clock. I hope to be in Detroit by 11. It's like a 3 hour and 12 minute drive according to Google, so I should be able to hammer that out in 2.5 or 245. We'll let you know. Ah, this is all good news here. No engine light, and that is exactly in the middle. From this angle, it looks like it's towards the hot side, but look, from that angle, it looks it's towards the cold side, or the colder side. If we look at it straight on, which I can't do with the camera because the steering wheel is in the way, it is exactly at zero degrees north, so that's good news. Seven fifty from uh, where'd we get on? We got on uh, seventy seven south of Cleveland. Cool. Oh, friggin' Mary, it's Tim Hortons. Ouch. Yeah, so this would be the Maumee River. Just in Toledo. Bridge though for Ohio. Hope that's steam. <laughs> yeah, definitely the nuclear plant out there. Uh, I can't see the uh, smokestacks too well though. Can I always spot an M3 with the power bulge, front bumper, and the vents and the fenders? Nice. It looks like it's lowered. Too bad we don't have the Ferrari. Yeah. <laughs> I think maybe you want to go. And there's Canada. The GM has a pretty nice, uh, Nice area there. Yep, typical Ford build quality. Every Ford Mustang, this is no ordinary Mustang, ladies and gentlemen. Boss. This is a Shelby GT500 uh, hooked up to a dyno, and I happen to be standing right next to my good friend Ben. Yeah, uh, it's over here. Let's go. This is a 2012 model putting out 550 horsepower and 510 pounds feet of torque. Now, Jonathan, are we ready to make this thing rock? I think that's a yes. Yeah. So you guys ready to help me out? I'm going to count down from three to one, and when I get down to one, you guys yell Shelby as loud as you can. All right, guys? God. All right. Thank you, sir. Now, here we go, guys. Three, two, one. Empower. <laughs> Beautiful Ford. It's about time. I'm pretty sure this is the new Taurus. Is it? Yeah. Front park distance controls, HID headlights, Aston Martin inspired grill. The first good looking car they've made in years. The narrow headlights. Metallic black. Just beautiful on that. All that. Oh, freaking right. It's an iPad. Wow. That's beautiful. What is that? 
Look at that thing. This is from timing. Time. No, not, not over there. This would, this would be timing about here, wouldn't it? Yeah. They actually use a metal one? Piece of history. There's the next SL. That is beautiful. Yeah. It's almost as nice as the 6 Series. Audi fan. The A7's real nice though. Absolutely stunning. The 3 Series looks great. This is the first one I've seen. What? Is that the yeah, the 328. They connected the grills and the headlights. This looks like a sport trim maybe. I can't tell yet. I don't know that, that much about them. Active Hybrid 5. I three. That is the I three concept, the better smart car. An accident in that thing, you looks like you'd be tossed around. Yeah, it is a little small, but it's a 3 Series. It's a F30 uh, 328 Luxury, I think. Passes the door test. Oh, yeah. Love the color, too. What is this? The modern. I'm in heaven. So, Dad, this one's next, right? Well, when are you going to get me one of these? Yeah, all right. Get that left on this one. Yeah. I love the exhaust. Yeah. I guess. Oh, there we go. I'm not big on the red leather. I'm not big on the red leather. But it's, it's virtually identical to mine. Easy to get to, anyways. This yeah. one, they always use those canisters. Yeah.
see else around here. Taking a look at that. Apparently, that means something. To me, it's just another one of these pieces of shit. That's the Gucci one. Then they have school bus colored. I don't. I don't get this. Why do people like the 500 so much? It's not good at anything. What can it do? 160 horsepower. You call that fast? BMW owner's lounge up here. There's complimentary drinks and food and stuff in here. Very nice. There's a lot of people here now. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the new Prius, anyways. What? But it makes no sense. We've got a special guest during this show. Kenny Wallace will be here. He's going to sign some. Set up. Yep. It looks nice, but it looks just like a CTS. Yeah. The 2013 Cadillac ATL. Back isolation of in this nice we're around the blue color. Now this vehicle looks like does have a two-liter four-cylinder boxer engine with the new direct injection system. It also has rear wheel drive and that allowed for this vehicle to have a little more ultra performance sports handling. Now again going going back to the point about it, the Subaru statement. color for it.
certainly is not a very big city. Nothing like my mom. No, it's all in the plan. Shit, it's 7.37 p.m. I feel like I have been on the road all day. We left this morning, as you know, about 7.40. I'm still not home. It was an amazing show. Um, really good Detroit Auto Show. Um, I filmed a lot. If you don't like cars, I'm sorry that you had to sit through this video. And if you didn't, good. You shouldn't have to if you don't like cars. The good news is I'm almost home. I'm on Route 8. I've got three quarters of a mile until the Peninsula Hudson exit, so that is good news. But uh, it was a great show. There were a lot of really cool cars. We actually got into the BMW's, the BMW Owners Club Lounge. They wanted to see a key or a proof of insurance or something that one person in the party owned a BMW, and obviously both of us had our keys, and he drove today. Uh, the X5 is actually not as good as gas on highway as this is. This gets around 30. He only gets about 22 or so. But anyways, we took his car. It's newer. It's got less miles. Um, so, great show. The city of Detroit. Everybody says Detroit's a pit. Well, at the Cobo Center, or the Cabo, C-O-B-O Center, it was very nice. Everything was clean. I don't think it was as nice as downtown Cleveland is. Downtown Cleveland, and when I say downtown, I mean the streets of downtown. East 9th, Prospect, Euclid. The streets of downtown Cleveland are quite nice now. The streets of downtown Detroit were very nice. I mean, it, was, it wasn't it was like Spick and Span Hudson, but it was uh, well kept. You didn't see a lot of people that, you know, stereotyping here, looked like they could, uh, they could commit a crime any second. Um, but from what I saw of Detroit at the convention center and the surrounding blocks, it looks like a nice city. This was my first time to Michigan and obviously the city of Detroit. Uh, I've been to Pennsylvania, New York, Ohio, South Carolina, Texas, of Florida, Nevada, California, and Hawaii. So now I can add the state of Michigan to my list. It's really, it, it felt very different than Ohio in the way of, it, it feels much more industrial. When I tell people I'm in Ohio, they think, oh, you have a lot of cornfields. And I think, well, no, not really, unless I go drive to them. But really, I, a lot of the state of Ohio is cornfields. I just don't see it in the part that I live. Um, I live in a very suburban, urban area. Michigan was very, um, very industrial. There were a lot of cornfields. That's all we saw until five minutes south of Detroit. Um, they had a lot of smokestacks. I noticed every mile there were just tons of smokestacks polluting. And I don't know if it's steam or soda or whatever, but what a mess. We don't really don't have that many here in Ohio. We have, I think, three nuclear plants in the state of Ohio. I am pro-nuclear energy if it's controlled right. Um, and I, we saw one in Michigan there, and I think I filmed it, but you couldn't really see the towers. But uh, that's all I have to say. Downtown Detroit looked pretty nice. Everything was relatively nicely kept. The show was a hundred times better than the Cleveland Auto Show. You can tell they spent hours and hundreds of thousands of dollars making the displays for the Detroit show. Everything was so professional and so clean and it looked really good. Whereas Cleveland, you know, they barely even have a sign for the kind of car that's there. It looked like they printed it out on the printer in the back room on an eight and a half by 11 and put it on the end of a 20 foot pole. Pole. The Detroit show was just very clean cut, very professional. Great job, and only $12 too. Before I bore you all too much more, I am just approaching uh, the city of Hudson and uh, I feel like I've been in a car all day, but surprisingly, I'm not actually tired of driving. I got really tired of sitting there and. I, I, his seats are more comfortable than mine because these are the stiffed up M performance seats, uh, but I'm not at all uncomfortable. All right, we've got uh, 8.49 p.m. I'm cold. <laughs> I don't know why. It's, it's really not that cold in here. I'm tired. I need to take a shower. 68. I like 70 in the house. What do you heat your house to in the winter? If you're in California, you probably don't really have to heat your house much at all. Maybe at night it gets down to 50, you turn the heat on, throw a blanket on, whatever. But, here we, she likes it, my mom and sister like it at 68, I'm more of a 70. Uh, and no, we won't do common ground at 69, I want 70, she wants 68, so whoever last walked by the thermostat gets to pick the temperature. Speaking of thermostats, I am getting pissed off at the thermostat in the car. The engine temperature is so sporadic, 
on the way to um, my dad's place today, I was planning on driving to Detroit, but the thermostat was either stuck shut or, yeah, it was stuck shut. So the engine temperature's way up there at hot. I'm not driving a hot engine all the way up there. It's not good for it. So I left the car there. It was completely normal on the way home. We know the thermostat isn't working. It's old. It's a common fix. Um, it's an easy fix. It's just expensive because of the labor. And I know I'm going to have people that tell me I can do it myself, and I probably could, but I don't feel qualified to take the uh, airbox duct work off and the fan and stuff like that. And I would just do more damage and cause more um, repairs to be needed than it's worth. So I'm going to call Dave Walter tomorrow, tell him I'm sick and tired of the thing not warming up right. It wasn't half for a while. Remember I filmed it this morning? Well that's when the valve got stuck shut and it kept going up all the way until I got to his house. So that part of it's dicked, but I'll have a new thermostat put in, talk to their grandfather. He's available Friday, so uh, I'll pick him up Friday, call and order it tomorrow, I'll go in and have it put in Friday. Um, uh, yeah, there's just another one of those things. Most cars, a thermostat's like 20 bucks, and you put it in yourself. Well, this one's buried down there, and they want $687 uh, to do the whole thing, plus tax, and if they use any oil or grease, which they probably won't have to for that. So that's what I get to do Friday. And here's my schedule for next week. I've got exams. I have to be in there Tuesday from 11.15 to 12.45. That's no big deal. Wednesday is going to suck. Uh, notice I didn't uh, put an X over third period. I have to be there, but I won't have an exam. I'm going to do it tomorrow. We have to do it out of class. Um, so I only have to be there from 9.35. Well, that's going to be a full day, 9.35 to 3. But I won't have tests from 9.35 to 11.05. And then Thursday, I have nothing filled in. Um, I do have a ninth period class, but that exam is done. We did it in class. It's engineering drawing. We did this big project in Pro Engineer in Windows, and that's done. So I have Thursday and Friday off. Friday I'll be at BMW. Monday, tomorrow, I'm going to be working on the exam. Um, Tuesday... I'm not doing much Tuesday. Wednesday is just going to be terrible. Uh, third, we're just going to watch a movie, so that'll be fine. Um, math is going to be the worst one, and then ecology is uh, period 7-8, and that won't be too bad. At this point in the video, this vlog is very long. I apologize for that. If you liked cars, great. You probably enjoyed some of it. If not, again, I, I'm sorry. But uh, it's about 9 o'clock. I'm going to put this together now. It's going to be huge. It's going to take forever to upload, so I'm going to get a head start on that and probably go to bed early. All right, talk to you guys tomorrow on Monday. Good night.